I'm ready to write my hurt away. So I begin by writing the title, I Need Sympathy. As I sit idle, as the violins take lead in my symphony imaginatively as I tell you what I'm feeling. I can't imagine this end of this relationship. I'm talking about finding the lifelong partner that really didn't exist. Burying myself so into this that I forgot what I was seeking. Only one person giving and it was me. So it was like I was investing to get no return or paying for school and I'm incapable to learn. Now I'm not saying giving is wrong. It's just the principle. When you give, the goal is to get revenue. So now I'm taking images and fantasies that I dream and trying to force it to reality and the only thing this brings me is pain, searching for sympathy in the next dream. So I breathe to force a few tears to shed, to rush the hurt that keeps returning to my head. And I lie in my bed creating lucid dreams, wishing to cradle my iniquities and soon forgetting that the amphetamines have taken action and my only reaction comes after hours of sleep when I realize that this pain is still hurting me. I need sympathy. Sympathy understands my pain and will plant me in its bosom. Sympathy is only bound to an emotion so it doesn't care if I'm Christian or Muslim. And sympathy won't hurt me because it sympathizes with the pain it sees within me. I was lost. If I could only find my way, traveling miles away from my destination behind distorted images presented to me by my people. So I blink and tears fall creating an avalanche effect. It's like bouncing one check and the rest of your money is screwed. If I just would have kept being rude when I met that dude. I mean, the relationship was like using the word conversated in a song. It just feels so right when you know it's so wrong. Or trying to put two puzzle pieces together that don't belong. Or going door to door ringing bells like ding dong. And all the while I keep rewinding that relationship in my mind so I can't see I'm trying to sell magazines to someone that's blind. Yet regardless, I ask, can you read this? And I hold up a sign pointing to me saying, I need sympathy. Sympathy can take one of my tears and explore its meaning. Sympathy will buy my hurt while I'm still fiending. And sympathy will do this for me whenever I need it. So now I'm pleading with sympathy to give me restoration, to take my infantile heart and put it in incubation. Comfort me, oh sympathy, until I gain maturity and reconcile me to be more sympathetic to walk the path guided by empathetic. And please, bear with me, cause I know I sound pathetic, but this was a new relationship to me and I had to debt it. And it's still tender and hard to forget it. And not only that, I guess I just long to be a little sweet on somebody. I need sympathy. I need the type of sympathy that gives me hope. Sympathy to get my emotions under control. Sympathy that's ready at any cost to defuse the next man's intent. Sympathy that'll make the next relationship not such of a suspense and builds barriers so it won't be at my heart's expense. So tell me, where is this sympathy while I'm falling? I need sympathy to be here for me before I start calling, before I touch the ground and start crawling, before I start bawling full of tears and pausing cause I recollect what's causing this theatrical event with no applause cause the flaws of that relationship should have been against the law. Sympathy, where are you now? I have my pen to the paper and I still feel foul. I need you now, not another second it, not another minute. I can't wait another day. I think Smokey was feeling the same way. So if sympathy was God, I'll be saying, God, do you understand my pain and can you wipe my tears away? I know I'm asking a lot, but can you promise me tomorrow will be a brighter day? And when I was crying out for sympathy, was my soul telling me to pray? And God didn't even say a word. He just reached into my yesterday and took my pain away. I was so overwhelmed that my tears changed meaning. So overwhelmed that he was doing this for me and all I could do was cry and nod. But then I went back, scratched the title and wrote, I need God.